Hello, thanks so much for joining us for another reason to rest upon the rock. The rock, of course, being the Lord Jesus Christ and the great hope that we have in resting in him. And I want to encourage you today in another great reason to rest upon the rock of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is here in John chapter 5. And in John chapter 5, uh, Jesus has come up to Jerusalem and he's walking by this pool. And this is a pool that is known for the water to ripple. And when the water ripples, the first person to get their hand or their foot into it uh, is healed, right? So there was a lot of invalids, a lot of uh, people who couldn't walk and see and everything around there. And they were waiting for this pool to ripple, to stir, so that they could get down there and be healed. And uh, there was a man there, right, in those days, a multitude, the Bible says, of invalids, of blind, lame, paralyzed. And there was one particular man there who had been there for 38 years. And he, he, couldn't, he couldn't walk. And Jesus sees him laying there in verse 6 of John chapter 5. And he knew that he had been there a long time. And he says, he says, do you want to be healed? The sick man answered, sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I'm on my way down, right, because he can't walk, so he's kind of crawling down or scooting down. While I'm on my way going, another steps down before me. And then Jesus says to him, get up, take up your bed, and walk. And at once, the man was healed, and he took up his bed and walked. And I, and I love this for a number of reasons, and I, I hope that it's super encouraging to you. You know, we live in times where there's a lot of people that feel trapped, right? Maybe it's, maybe it's because of the pandemic and, and literally being trapped physically in ways that, that you haven't before. Maybe there's other reasons. Maybe it predates the pandemic. Maybe it's emotionally or mentally, right? Spiritually trapped, stuck in some way like this man was. And I want to suggest that perhaps Jesus wants to do something in your life bigger. We often get focused on the physical, right? This man being physically healed. And that might be the case for somebody. But I want to suggest there's often bigger things than that that God is doing. And, and perhaps God is doing a work in your life and he wants to do even a greater work in your life. I want to encourage you that he can do that. But we see a few key points here. Number one, we see Jesus initiating the conversation. He approaches this man and he asks this man if he wants to be healed. Well, I want to suggest to you that Jesus has initiated the conversation with you. You should feel special about that because he loves you, right? God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. God initiated. Secondly, when he asked this man if he wants to be healed, this man responds and he says that, that he, you know, can't get down to the water. But Jesus uh, tells him to take up his bed and walk. And then the man was healed. He did it. He got up and walked. Jesus initiated. The man responded. And then he obeyed. Let me encourage you today. God's doing a work in your life. Or oh, maybe you haven't felt like it. Maybe you're discouraged or, or down. But I want to encourage you, just like Jesus sort of surprised this man, met him right where he was at, and brought him out of that place. He can do that in your life today as well. But I think there's an important example here in number one, in, in, in responding to the initiation and the invitation of Jesus. And then stepping out in faith and following him. Sometimes we think faith is this grand thing. Sometimes we think it's this mysterious thing. Sometimes we think it's something that we can't quite attain to. Let me encourage you. Faith really is obedience to God, 
right? Stepping out in faith and following what he has for you. Concerning the things of the future, right? It, it, it's, it's, that's faith, right? Concerning the things of today, it's also faith, but it's manifested. It's lived out in action, right? There's, there's an element of trust as, a, as it pertains to the future because we're not there yet. And there's a huge element of obedience and trust as it pertains to today. So a reason you can rest upon the rock is because Jesus has initiated this work in your life. And I believe that there are those out there who he wants to set free, just like this man. Oh, it may not be physical like this man, but something much deeper as we realize the love and the heart behind the initiating of Christ and we simply respond. And because of the work that he's doing in your life and because of the love that he has for you and because of the ability that he has to see it through, you can rest as you simply trust in, believe, and follow Jesus. Step out today. Let me encourage you to spend some time hearing from him by reading the Bible, the primary way in which he speaks to us, and talking to him through prayer, the primary way that we talk to him. And be blessed. He loves you.